Oh no! Oh, the paper's in there, that's okay. That adds extra flavor, the label. Most of the time, thanks to modern technology, we get straight to our destinations without ever getting lost. But sometimes it's those off-roads and detours where the real adventures can be found. My name is Harrison Greenbaum, and on behalf of the United States Tour Operators Association, oh my god, it worked! Who's that good logo? Ah, oh, you're a good logo. Okay, here, ready? Ready to fetch? Ready? Go fetch! Yes! This is recalculating. Recalculating. Welcome to Lisbon! Lisbon is Portugal's third capital after Guimarães and Coimbra. But don't ask to see Portugal's receipts because no official document exists that establishes Lisbon as Portugal's capital. Stop what you're doing! This isn't the capital! This isn't the capital! They never made it official! This isn't the capital! And no one seems to care. This is Portuguese pavement. And if you squint your eyes real hard, you can actually see a 3D dolphin. I think I see it. I think I see it. This goes splat. You got the Christ Redeemer statue from Brazil and the Golden Gate Bridge from San Francisco, Portugal. If you're gonna steal monuments, don't put them close together, okay? Who do you think you are, Epcot? This is Casa Pastéis de Belém, which has been serving their particular version of this dessert for over 150 years, using a recipe so secret that only five people in the world know it. That means it's a better kept secret than literally anything in Washington, D.C. at the moment. Oh, yeah. Thanks to us 2 a tour operators, which use destination experts on the ground to create educational and fulfilling experiences, I'm headed to the coastal town of Trefaria to meet somebody who designed a program to introduce travelers like me to senior citizens expert in the art of cooking. Hi, Joanna. Hi, Arison. Welcome to Trafidia. So can you tell me a little bit about how you got into all of this and how you met, met the grandmas? So we started with cycle tours and we keep doing cycle tours. And then we found out the grannies because the grannies are very famous because of its uh, cooking skills. So sure. of course. So you went from renting bicycles to renting grandmas. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, please come on. <laughs> we are going to a social center. Okay. So it's a day center. We gotcha. have many grannies over there. That guy looks as much like a sea captain as possible. No, it's completely a sea captain. Oh, he is a sea captain. Of course, he was, a, he was oh. sailing for all his life. Capitão! Hello. How you doing? Estamos a gravar, I'm a big fan of captains of all kinds. Captain Morgan, Captain Crunch, no, 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 no. all the captains. I'm going to assume he's a sea captain because he looks like he's from the box of, of fish sticks back home. And he's still fishing some ladies, huh? Are you? Are you? Are you single? <laughs> well, I know a whole bunch of grandmas that might be interested. Uh, we're gonna go find you a girlfriend and meet some grannies and learn how to cook. How you doing? How's it going? Oh, sure, let's make some flowers. They die, oh no. No talking about death around the grannies. <laughs> my grandmother was a seamstress. So if you guys wanna be my replacement grandmothers, all you have to do is scratch my back celebrate me for even the most minor of accomplishments, and make me feel guilty for dating a Christian girl from Nebraska. <laughs> I have a, a gentleman I think you guys might be interested in meeting. Capitan! The Capitan! Thank you. Thank you. I think I have a wife now. <laughs> Are you seeing anybody? <laughs> I know a sea captain if you're interested. <laughs> wow, so it's just this, huh? Just this all day. <laughs> all right, so how does this game work? I think that. I'm starting to get a little bit hungry, so I think uh, let's get started with the cooking. Is that okay? I'm ready for all the secrets, all the granny wisdom. Okay. I love you! <laughs> Confirmation. All right. Perfect. And then we just put this in the microwave for three minutes and we're done, right? Yes, exactly. Oh, no. Oh, the paper's in there. That's okay. 
That adds extra flavor, the label. Okay, perfect. Here we go. Here we go. So this is fresh octopus from a fisherman. Did the captain have any part of this? Yeah, show, show me how. Oh my gosh. This terrifies me. I'm gonna do exactly the same and this will have blood in it. Oh, this is the octopus water. Yeah, the octopus water. So we're putting octopus water in here. Yeah, it had a very garlicky smell at first and now it's starting to really move over into that seafood octopusy smell, which I like. Am I allowed to use that as an adjective? If I'm saying octopusy, it's fine. If I'm saying it as an adjective, I don't think they'll make me edit it out. So we're gonna let this sit, and then I guess I'm going to the dessert. I saw you sneak a sip of that. <laughs> Do it. I'm all about the dancing. I assume all of this is kosher, right? Oh, I'll try it, sure. <laughs> That's very cool, it has a very like, salty seed quality to it, which I really like. And you could hear a rabbi crying. Oh, we're putting sugar straight in, wow. I do jokes and you do yolks. That's gonna be our tagline. You know the joke, why did the chicken cross the road? To keep us from massacring her babies. We're eating her babies, okay. Arustus. Arustus, the official dessert of Portugal. Made with a secret granny recipe. Yes, we're ready to eat? All right, let's do it. This has been incredible. A huge thanks to Joanna, Sophia, all the grannies. And speaking of incredible experiences, this is just a taste of the totally local, fully immersive experiences you'll find while traveling with a USTOA tour operator. My name is Harrison Greenbaum, and this has been Recalculating. All right, let's dig in, let's do this. Mmm, they're so good.